technology in tech that powers media, and they really did a great job highlighting really the stuff that we're going to analyze today, this week, Dave, is about the technology that's powering the media business. And you know, NAB represents a trend of disruption in the media business from changing technologies to changing uh, business models. We're going to be here on the ground talking to all the people we can like, to extract that signal from the noise and share that with you inside the cube. And uh, I got to say that uh, media is not what it used to be, Dave. We're seeing a huge change in the landscape of the media business from once dominated by large broadcasters, large companies, and with the emergence of Moore's Law, hence Intel here, and other technology, the media business is now transforming into what we're seeing in the marketplace around mobile, cloud, and social, where a whole new dynamic is, is uh, uh, emerging around the role of people and the role of devices. Obviously mobile is a big thing we heard just last week and we covered on SiliconAngle.com. The uh, Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion. And I find that a, a nice ironic way to start the show because here, a company in Silicon Valley with eight people can be sold for a billion dollars. And a company like Kodak goes bankrupt and is worth zero. So you have the photography, film, business icon in Kodak essentially not evolving, Dave, into, into the kind of company it needed to be and be relevant. And a company literally coming out of nowhere powered by mainly Apple computer and the iPhone to essentially be worth a billion dollars. And I think this represents the flashpoint for a completely different shift in business models and al also the value chains of the companies that are playing in this space. So again, I'm excited by it because SiliconAngle.tv and Wikibon is we're the new school in media and we're, we're loving ev every day of it. But information is being gathered by, by media, it's being disseminated by media, opinions are formed by media, but now, instead of having a handful of people controlling the media, you have literally hundreds of thousands of people out there who are uh, distributing media, Dave, and I think that is a key trend. And the things that we cover day to day inside SiliconANGLE and Wikibon around the technology is another storyline that we're going to un uh, unpack here at NAB. The people, the companies that have the technology that's under the covers or under the hood, whether it's new hardware devices like the Site Deck, what we're showing you here today, purpose built really around performance, around scale, and around performance, Dave, around video. So well, it's John, pretty exciting. You talked about cloud, mobile, and social, something that SiliconANGLE has been covering for a long time. And of course, the fourth leg of the stool is data and information. And the media business touches on all of those bases. And data is really changing every business and no, no more uh, 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 poignant than in the media business. So there's massive volumes of, of diverse information. There's audio, there's video, there's quality, there's speed. And you put all these th things together and it creates huge challenges to get consumers uh, what they need. You know, I was talking last night when we were setting up with some uh, other entrepreneurs and some folks in the industry, and I was talking about uh, the change in the business, and they asked me, John, what's your view of this? You're not really in the, quote, old school media business. And I said, here's my take on what's going on here at NAB this year. Um, the, the internet and the web as we know it was a, a collection of web pages, and the, and the ability to, to source information was dramatically improved by the web. And it created startups that became huge companies like Google. And, and that changed the world and, and it's evolved. But today we're seeing a new generation around mobile and cloud that will create a new set of startups, Dave, and allow older companies, the incumbents, to either evolve and be relevant, or if they're laggards, they will die. So I think we're seeing kind of the intersection of new emerging upstarts coming in with tech and new business models combined with using big data, solid state memory, and those are going to be the new startups that will emerge into the next big powerhouses like Google, and, and that's going to create a variety of new solutions, and, and the complexities are there. I mean, look at mobile, look at Xbox, look at the gaming environments, look at the different diverse endpoints, um, and, and things like Roku. So there's a lot of diversity out there at the edge of the network where the consumers are, and now the broadcasters and the new broadcasters have to change their approaches to meet those consumers. We, we talk a lot, a lot about the consumerization of IT, and in the media business, obviously, you're targeting of uh, consumers and they're so demanding. And the reality is that, that the, the media business, the consumer business is really driving the enterprise tech trends as we talked about in many, many times. It used to be the reverse, <laughs> right? And, yeah. and the, the back end that's powering these consumer devices, the, the delivery of media to these consumers is really you know, slowly trickling its way into the enterprise. I would say the enterprise is probably five to 10 years behind <laughs> you know, the web giants and the, and the consumer giants. Well, the, broadca the broadcasters are, are, are a, good, a good service provider proof point, but the enterprises are becoming broadcasters. Uh, the site deck, which we'll show here, we were talking about it last night, 
is a solution that's really designed for broadcasters as well as enterprises. So companies are building their own studios now where, where social TV is now the form of lead generation and actually closing business and, 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 and driving sales for these companies. So you're going to see a variety of solutions for small, medium-sized businesses and enterprises all the way to the large corporate enterprises where they will, in essence, have CNN-like studios in-house, and those studios will then be pumping out a ton of information, video, social TV, et cetera. And that's going to be a key trend that I'm going to be watching here at NAB Day. And the economics are so compelling. You're seeing so many technologies. You, you mentioned things like Flash coming in, and, and, and you talked about Moore's Law, just driving costs down. The economics are becoming such that smaller companies can attack the white space. They can move faster than some of the larger established players, and the ecosystem is just exploding, John. Yeah, so the trends that I'll be watching this week and we'll be weaving in and out of the interviews here inside theCUBE is obviously the technology, the technology that will be powering this new business models, a new generation of media, um, the content. We're seeing content is becoming a really big deal. Content producers are now changing from specialized studios to individuals and people with iPhones and Android devices. Um, customers, what are customers doing around their environments? How are they changing? advertisers and I would call solutions around how they're going to be using these, these new media solutions in market. And finally, the revenue, the business models. At the end of the day, follow the money is where we tend to look, Dave, in, in our analysis and look at where the dollars are going to be pouring in and that is going to be at the edge where the consumers are, whether it's an IT consumerization of IT enterprise or a standard consumer. So those are the five areas we'll be watching and weaving in throughout So how the do you week. see those mo monetization models changing as a result of all this, the confluence of technology, we talked about big data cloud, mobile, social. How is that affecting the monetization and the business model strategies of, of the, the ecosystem and these organizations? Well, Dave, I think first thing you're going to see here at NAB is the beginning of a conversation that uh, I've been talking about for a few years, but it's really now hitting mainstream. That is, advertising as we know it is, is dying. And, and like publishing and like broadcasting with their changing business models, the old way is kind of going away. The new monetization vehicle was going to be very much uh, spread out amongst a variety of different vehicles. Data, transactional activities with consumers are going to be a big deal. So the, no, the role of advertising will change to be very transactional. And again, for the first time in our history of the world, a company can literally instrument their entire business end to end from product conception to product delivery to consumer capture. So to me, that actually changes the advertising game completely and the notion of gross rating points, the notion of of you know, 50% of my ad spent, I don't know what's going on with it, is going to absolutely go upside down and it's going to be a, a slower process to kind of convert over, but I'm looking for companies that are going to have those solutions. So you mentioned the Instagram deal, the Facebook Instagram deal recently. So from a monetization standpoint, what's that? isn't that all about advertising? Um, well, I mean, I think people are looking at it saying, hey, you know, where's the, where's the multiple on that deal? And essentially, it's, it's a complicated transaction to analyze, but what, what's really going on <laughs> the, is Facebook. The multiple's <laughs> infinity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Facebook has, you know, I wrote a, a, a blog post on this, and, and a lot of people kind of didn't see the angle there, but what really is about is Facebook's going to go public. Right, so obviously they didn't crack the code on mobile. This small company did. Just in the uptick on the valuation of their IPO, I think it's worth it right there. The second thing is it's a small team so they can bring them into Facebook. And two, uh, mobile is a threat to Facebook. Facebook saw a little bit of themselves in Instagram and said, hey, if we don't take this off the table right now, this could be a threat to us. Because the mobile social networks are completely different tech fabric than what Facebook's application is built on. So that to me is the real angle on Facebook. They take a competitor off the table, they pop their IPO, and then they give themselves a position in a mobile marketplace. Okay, we're going to take a break and we're going to hear from our sponsor from Intel, the Intel Studio Experience, amazing setup, and we'll be right back with our next guest.